Today we're going to talk about programming for a Springback file and Springback compensation on the ERCO 6576. That's the same process and also leads into general programming and tangent links using length rotation angle or YBC programming. So we're going to do a Springback file. We have to have a 120 bend and a 20 bend measure with those angles that are produced on the machine with that material. And the Y motion during the 120 bend is the elongation or stretch factor of the material. We have to observe that as well. Today we're using an inch and a half, 11 gauge, 120 mile steel tube, three inch radius former. That's what we're gonna bend. We're gonna load it on the machine. I'm gonna build a test program to bend to 120, bend to 20, watch the Y motion during that travel, and then build a spring back file, apply it for the correction, and show that as well. So first of all, we're going to load the piece of material onto the machine to our pallet length, which we set on our tool set file, two inches of depth. That's already been loaded on the machine. Two inches is in the collet. We can now build a spring back test file for our 120, 120 bed. So we're going to go to programs, polar file, new. I'm going to call it spring back test, SB test, space test. Enter. I'm going to attach my tool set file. We built this tool set in a previous video, which is available as well. In this case, it's our 76 3 inch radius inch and a half tube. Now, this tool set is now tied to this program. This is the same process of making a program, regardless of if it's a spring back test or not, to tie the tool set file to the program. We do not have a spring back file to tie yet. That's what we're making right now. We can complete this program, write it, 2 by V, 1.5, thickness, 0 0.120, length is 71 inches, save it, and we go to my YBC, this is my programming tab now, YBC, length rotation angle, YBC, so I'm going to put 10 inches before my first pen, this is 10 inches of straight before my first pen starts. For 10 inches there. Enter. No rotation. The angle, remember we want a 120 and a 20 for the spring back test. You're going to make this test on all the materials you're using stainless, aluminum, uh, mild steel, whatever it is. You're going to make this uh, spring back test if you want to use that corrections file. 3 inch radius former. You put about 10 inches between the bends. 20 degree bend angle. Radius is three. And my last leg, I'm just gonna call it like eight inches. Save that. Graphically, you can see what we just did. 10 inches, 120, 10 inches, 20, and the remainder by material. We can also simulate this file. If I go to simulate, And make sure my tool set is the right one I have. In this case, it's R76 inch and a half tube. That's correct. If the exact tool set is not in your simulation files, pick a file that is very similar in radii. Hit play here once, play again, and we can see what you've done coming off the machine. Okay? If it simulates on the file here on the program, it will run on the machine. The machine is checking for parameters like interference short distances between bands, clamps, any interference that will show here on the simulation. Exit. Now we can actually go to this automatic file. One more time, automatic. My pump shut off, which is automatically do. After a certain amount of activity, we can come back on with uh, function, automatic. Program select. I'm going to run the spring back test. Select. Start auto. We can go to the main page here and we can confirm we're running this program, this polar file. This is our tool set and we're good to go. I have to observe the Y motion during the spring back test through the 120 bend. So I'm going to hit the display axis tab here. This tab shows me all the positions of the axis. In this case, I want to watch the Y. At the start of the 120 bend, at the end of the 120 bend, I'm going to write those values down. I'm going to physically stop the program, go off the handheld control, stop, 
observe the y value at the start, finish the 120, observe the y at the end. That's what we're going to do now. Start the cycle. Plus. Again, just going to position for the 120. 58.7. I'm going to finish the 120, observe my Y again, finish the 120, 53.488. Advances to my 20, makes that bad. Finishes my program, waiting for me to release it. Release, the pallet releases, the piece is now done. We're going to remove this piece, measure these angles, and write a spring back file. I'm just going to remove this piece and show you how to write a spring back file based on the data we just observed. Shut the pumps off real quick, stop auto. So we're going to go here and I'll escape. We're going to go to programs. What are our spring back files? New. This is going to be a spring back correction file for this material at this radius. This is inch and a half, 120 mile steel tube. So I'm going to put in here just so my recollection 1.5 face 120. Mile. Enter. Now for a spring back file, it's going to be this data. We're going to put the tube OD in. 1.5. Thickness, 120. That's the material we're using. Bend radius is the radius of our die. In this case, it's three inches. Deep angle. We want to make, we want to bend at 120. That's what we programmed, and the shallow angle, a 20. Now we have to measure what we actually produced with this tooling on this material at the 120 and the 20. I'm not going to measure them right now. I'm just going to show you, to simulate the measurement and show you how to create the file. So the 120, let's just uh, hypothetically measure 116.5. 20. We measured 18.1. Save that. This Y motion during the deep angle, remember we stopped at the start of that 120 and at the end of that 120. That's what we're going to put here. The difference of that Y motion at the start and the stop of that 120 is going to be this. Theoretically, this is the arc length of the bend. However, this material is stretching. I know it's not going to be that theoretical dimension. That's why we actually wrote it down and measured it. So I'm just going to calculate that real quick and put that value in and show you the compensation. That value comes up to 5.062. Save, cut coefficient, save. So well, theoretically we can see we have a 3 inch radius former. Based on the data we put in, it's observing an actual 3.05 radius. It's going to use that value, 3.05, as a correction factor for the distance between bends and arc length corrections. So now we can save this file and apply it. I'll just show you how it applies to that spring back test and the compensation. Let's go back to our polar files, our spring back test, edit. We're going to attach a spring back file, double click, click there, and this is 1.5120, select, save it. Now this is file, spring back file to attach to this program, corrections tab. Right now there are zero corrections applied. The first column here, dbb slash spring back, distance between bends slash spring back, dobsb, 
degree of bend spring back. The yellow fields here are, are fields which you can edit independently of the corrections file if you need to, if you want to. We're going to apply the corrections now. The, the, the file is attached. Spring back calc. Calc all. Save. So we see, now we populate some numbers here. Distance between bends correction has been applied. Degree of bend corrections have been applied. So our first bend was a 120. Let's look right here. 120 bend. So we were actually over bending, in this case, 3.56 degrees to compensate for that 120 bend angle. That material, 10 pound of that, 50 of that material. The 20 degree bend angle will compensate 1.93. So we've created a spring back file, corrections file, that can be applied now with this material to all your programs.